Uh, hi everyone, I'm here with uh, Man Schaffner, who is Director of Sales and Marketing uh, for a company called Heprogen. And You know, we've been talking a lot about uh, many of the things that they, they, they do and we're, you know, obviously interested in things like drug metabolism and, and incubations and LCMS analysis. So maybe, man, you can give us maybe a brief description of what Heprogen does. Yeah, sure. So Heprogen makes a, a next generation in vitro liver model that's used for a variety of Admetox uh, applications. And the main benefit, really, of the model is that it's uh, uh, long-lived and functional. So the model can be uh, kept uh, functional and, and viable for up to four weeks. Okay, and this is called specifically Hepatopac, is that right? That's right. The product line is called Hepatopac. There's actually, uh, uh, it's a co-culture, a, a micro-pattern co-culture of primary hepatocytes from a variety of different species, whether it's human, rat, monkey, dog, uh, co-cultured with a non-parent chymal cell. And it's the combination of the architecture and the co-culture that gives it this longevity and improved functionality. Okay, so is it only the longer life? Is there maybe other features, benefits that would help someone doing, you know, drug metabolism incubations that uh, this is kind of used for? Or? Yeah, that's a good question. So it's really a combination of both the, the longevity as well as the improved functionality. So not, al not only are you able to carry out metabolism studies for longer, so for example, if you have a low turnover compound, right. Uh, or a compound that has difficulty generating secondary or tertiary metabolites, you have that longer lifespan, but the model itself, uh, the, the full, the, the metabolic machinery is more functional and active uh, over and above traditional suspension cultures. And, and again, that leads to better prediction of in vivo outcomes. Right, so I mean, ideally now when I'm doing my drug metabolism analysis, I'm potentially finding things that I may not have been able to find before, either because of that lifetime sensitivity, et cetera, right? That's right, and we've seen this uh, repeatedly for a variety of different applications, whether it's for MedID, whether it's for metabolic stability. A PATAPAC typically gives about a 25 to 30 percent improvement in prediction over in vivo outcomes Excellent. over and above traditional suspension cultures. Great. So do you have like maybe any recent publications or anything that we could, you know, reference the, the audience to? Or? Yeah, so Hepatopac is actually one of the most uh, widely published next generation liver model out there. I think now we're up to some 21 or 22 publications, but we have publications that uh, look at the model for uh, uh, pr improved predictivity and met metabolite generation, uh, in uh, improvement in predicting metabolic stability outcomes, uh, and there was a recent paper that looked at uh, cytokine release uh, impact on SIP activity levels uh, in one of our newer models called Hepatimmune, which, which includes Kupfer cells. Excellent. Well, thanks for the time, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for having me.